Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you all how to get any shiny Pokemon from Max Raid Dens in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now before we dive into this guide, I'm going to just say that this is not an easy or straightforward process to get your head around. It might take you a little while to get a good grip of how this works, but hopefully I've tried to break this down into as easy to digest and follow along steps as possible. So you're able to actually eventually get yourself any shiny Gigantamax or Dynamax Pokemon that you want. In this guide specifically we will be looking at how to find your den seed number which will then allow you to locate a shiny Pokemon slot without the use of a hacked switch or any external devices. All you're going to need is a copy of your switch, your sword and shield and a PC or laptop. Now before we get, so before we get into this right now there are a few things that you need before getting into this method. The first thing is is probably the most important thing which is a program called the one star seed searcher now you can find the link to this down below in the description and you want to be downloading the most recent version which is 1.02 and um, depending on your PC or laptop or whatever you're using you want to be downloading the, the relevant 32 or 62 bit version now once you have this downloaded and open the next thing to do is to hop back into your sword and shield game and look at the Pokemon you want to get as your shiny so for this example I'm gonna be using using Gigantamax Charizard as our shiny target. The first thing we need to do is locate the den where this Pokemon spawns. And once you're here, you need to get the relevant purple or red beam for the Pokemon that you are looking for. To check what kind of beam your target Pokemon spawns from, you can check out Cerebi.net and their Max Raid den list, which details all of the information. And the site will be linked down below. And this is a really important site to have access to because it will give you all of the information. It's really super relevant for going through this method later on in the guide. Now for Gigantamax Charizard, we know we need Den 77 and a purple beam. So once we're at the Den, like you can see where we are now, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your text is turned to slow, that your auto saves are turned off, and then the next thing to do is save in front of this Den. The next step is to drop a wishing piece into this Den. If you see a red beam coming out, quickly hit the home button and close out the game before you see the text on the screen finishing. This way you'll be able to go back into the game after resetting and try for that purple beam once again without wasting any additional wishing pieces. Now, once you have your purple beam, make sure that the first thing you do is turn your text back to fast and then save the game in front of this den. Now we've got the beam done. So we can move on to the next step in this process. But before we do, I just need to make a couple of things really clear so you understand a few things before we move on. The first thing to note, as soon as any den is activated with a beam its entire list of Pokemon is generated meaning every single frame you change in this den is already predetermined from its IVs its nature and if it's shiny or not a frame in a den is each individual skip or to make it easier each individual Pokemon like when you change the date to get a new Pokemon in any one den that's the next frame so for an example right now this den we're at here because we haven't went into it the first Pokemon in this den when we click into it first of all is always going to be frame one. Now, how Max Raid Dens work is when you are skipping the first three Pokemon or frames, they are always the same from whatever your starting or save point is. What I mean is when you click into a den for the very first time or from a save point, the first Pokemon and the next two in the queue or the next two frames will always be the same. For example, our first Pokemon here is a Ninetales. If you want to skip frame one and move on to frame two you can do this by clicking into the den and go to invite others as soon as the clock starts as you can see here you want to go to the home menu go down to assist settings go down to date and time and then move the date forward by one day come back out of here into the game quit this den you're in right now and then go back into it which is technically tricking the game into thinking a day's pass which puts you into the next den or the next frame which is frame two obviously and now as you can see we've went from that three star nine tails into a five star nine tails which is a different frame in a different pokemon so that's how you change between frames there is a quicker method for doing this which which we'll get into later in the guide but this is how we want to be doing it right now for this process and please be aware that you can only skip one frame at a time so you can't go into your date and skip forward like 500 days 
and then come back into the game and think you've skipped 500 frames, it will still only skip one frame at a time. So this is why it's important to make note of this right now. Like I say, there is another method to going through this a bit quicker, but we'll get into that later in the guide. So now continuing on, we do the same process again by skipping another day and moving into frame three, which is a toggle. And finally, what we wanna be doing is getting to frame four. As a fourth slot or frame for any particular starting point within a den is not locked into a specific Pokemon, and that frame can be randomly changed unlike the previous three so you, as you can see our fourth slot here is a salazzle now the fourth slot or frame change is always the one that we want to be targeting to get our shiny pokemon in eventually so once we've found our shiny den we're able to cycle through all of the different shiny pokemon until we hit the one we want so for instance if we get four slots away from our shiny frame what we want to be doing is getting to that fourth slot, cycling through this same process every time until we hit, say, the Gigantamax Charizard in that fourth frame. And that's when we can save, knowing that it's shiny, and then we can just cycle through that as many times as we want. For the sake of this guide, I'm just going to go through this process again to show you that the first three always stay the same and the fourth will change. So we'll restart the game now and you can see our first frame or our first Pokemon is still that three star nine tails like before. Our second is the five star nine tails and our third frame is the Torkoal. Now, if we go into the next frame or slot, you should be different to the Salazzle that we had before. And there you go. As you can see now, we have a three star nine tails, which shows you that the fourth slot Slot is always a slot from any starting point that you want to be manipulating so hopefully that makes sense to you guys now open your one star seed finder software and here comes the tricky part which is probably the longest step in all of the steps within this guide now we need to start filling in the empty slots on the seed finder tool the first thing we need to do is cycle through this process of the getting to the fourth slot or the fourth frame that i've just shown you in this guide so far and what we want to be doing is looking for a pokemon within the fourth slot that has two perfect or 231 or best IVs. This can be quite tricky, especially if you're going for a Gigantamax Pokemon as the more common Pokemon you'll be receiving from this den mainly are gonna be stronger four or five star raids. For the, the next step, you really need to be looking for three star raids in that fourth frame or fourth slot. And there's likely only gonna be a couple of Pokemon per den that actually are three star raids and are capable of having two perfect IVs. The best way to identify what Pokemon in this step you are looking for is going back to the Cerebi den list and looking at the Pokemon with guaranteed max two IVs, which will be listed on that den list when you click into it. As you can see right now on the screen, we've got Charmeleon and Ninetales that can spawn from a purple den and are guaranteed the two IVs, like no matter what. So they're the ones that we need to be going for. Like I said earlier, this is gonna be the, the trickiest method in this, this process. Now, after many resets here, I've finally got a three-star Ninetales in my fourth slot. So I'll proceed to catch this Pokemon and see if it's a two IV Pokemon that we're looking for. And lucky enough, it is. Um, and you can check its IVs quickly by unlocking the IV checker post game and then heading into your boxes in your home menu. Uh, I did a guide on how to unlock this uh, a while ago. So I'll link that up in the top right hand corner now so you can get the access to the IV judge in your boxes. Now, once we have the Pokemon we need, you need to know the exact IV spread of this specific Pokemon to input into the seed checker program. Uh, to do this without any variances, uh, the best thing to do is to get this Pokemon to level 100. The quickest way is obviously using XP candies. Now, once this Pokemon is leveled up, head over to Cerebi.net again, this useful site, obviously I keep referring to. Uh, they've got an IV checker over there. You can bang in all of the Pokemon details and then it will give you the actual IV spread that you, you need for the, the C checker program. The link to the IV checker uh, on Cerebi is down in the description below. Now once you're here you complete the form by putting in the stats and nature the characteristic and then hit generate IVs and boom there you are we have the IV spread for Ninetales. So once you have this it's now time to input these into the C checker like this. It's a bit complicated because this program unfortunately is all in Japanese but I will put everything on the screen right now as you can see this first box here which we're, we're looking at now is for the nature and the nature order that you want to be looking for is listed on the screen right now so this is what you want to be doing with whatever nature just count down 
from the screen and then make sure that that is the relevant one in the box right here for this first Pokemon. The next one is the characteristics. So the characteristics can be found on the same uh, screen in game as you find the nature for the Pokemon. And in the C checker, it will be listed like this through one to six. So I'll make sure that you are just selecting the right one from the drop down. And then the last box on the right here is for the ability, whether or not this Pokemon has ability one, ability two, or the hidden ability. Now. I've heard a lot of different things about using hidden abilities or not. Now, I've had success with using hidden abilities myself in this, this process, but I've heard a lot of people that just have fails all the time when they get a hidden ability Pokemon. So maybe just for a little bit of advice, if you're wanting to do this, try and avoid hidden ability Pokemon, even though I've actually been able to do it quite a few times myself with, with success. So you want to just drop down, put whatever ability works here, uh, that the Pokemon's got and then you can hit this button and it should come up with a message saying okay uh, for IV Pokemon so if you get an NG here this is a this is a common problem that a lot of people get and one of the issues that uh, has been really discovered recently is that even though a Pokemon sometimes has two perfect IVs it has the possibility in its coding to have a uh, potentially a third IV which can be perfect now that even though it's not showing up as a perfect IV it's in the Pokemon's coding and it will throw this system out and return here as an NG now what you want to do in this situation is reset your game go back into it skip the day forward by one and save in front of that den again and then start the process again and get that two IV Pokemon once again so that's what you're gonna have to do unfortunately if you do get that NG but hopefully like you can see on the screen you don't get the NG you just get the the, the process to move on and we can move on to the next step in this process. Now we have a two IV Pokemon out the way and all the information for this Pokemon is noted. You can reset the game and start this process again by skipping to the fourth slot or the frame. Only this time you're gonna be looking for a five star or four star raid and it needs to have at least four perfect or 31 best IVs. Now thankfully this step's a little easier as you can see we've done this process again by skipping these dates and moving forward and we've got ourselves a four star Torkoal. So again we can proceed and go into this den and catch this Pokemon and check if it meets our, our four IV or 31 criteria. As you can see this Torkoal does so we can do the same process of leveling it up again and get its IVs from the Cerebi.net IV checker and then put all of of its information into the seed checker now once we've done this the next step is another straightforward one where we need to reset the game again and come back to our starting point but this time we're not going for the fourth frame so we're not going for that fourth slot we're going for a the fifth slot and this needs to be a five star raid I said in the previous step it could be a four or five star raid you just need the the, the four perfect IVs there but this next step needs to be a five star raid so you need a five star pocket on and it needs to be in the fifth slot so we aren't changing the date three times but we're actually changing it four times to land on the fifth frame of this den now again cycle through this process as many times as you need to to get the pokemon you need for this specific step and then catch it do the same process level it up find out its ivs and then put them into the seed checker and that's all of this complete now with all of the information in the seed checker complete you want to go down to the big button at the bottom and hit that and then it will start to generate a seed. Now once it's finished it will bring up a big text file with every Pokemon with its specific den that you have active in this den right now. Now what you want to do from this point is head back to the seed checker and tab across to the third option and select the shiny Pokemon option right here and then hit generate and this will bring up another window that will show you the frame where your shiny Pokemon can be found. So. The next step is a little bit tricky. You need to skip all of these frames to get to this specific slot. So you can see right now I've got 2,117 frames to skip to get to my Gigantamax, oh, or my shiny slot, I should say. It's not gonna be Gigantamax yet. Now remember what you need to do is actually save four slots away from, from your 
shiny target frame because what you want to be doing is doing the the same method as we've done to to get these initial pokemon and aim for that fourth frame so you need to be saving four frames before your shiny target now you need to calculate the date from the the seed frames that you're getting right now and to do this you just need to you can make it a little easier by changing your date on your system to the first of the first 2000 or something like that which make it easier for working out so for this example my shiny frame is 2117 frames away my starting date is the 15th of january 2020 so to get to my shiny then i need to date skip landing on the 2117 frames which would then land me on the 1st of november 2025 so my target frame so I'm stopping four frames before this will be the 29th of October 2025 which will be taking four frames off what my target date is which will be 2113 leaving that kind of room for me to skip forward four more dates and then land on that shiny frame so that's the target date for myself so 29th of October 2025 there's a really useful program which I've linked in the description below which allows you to put in your starting date and an end date and then work out how many days in between that that you are skipping which is kind of relevant for how many frames you need to skip it might make it easier for you guys hopefully you find it useful for doing this now we have a target date what we need to do is use the date skip glitch now to do this once you're in front of your den you've got your seed frame you've got your target date you've got everything that you need complete to this point the next thing is to do is to skip these dates and you want to do it very quickly you don't want to be going into the den invite others and having to do that way that would take absolutely forever so there's an easier method to doing this to do this you want to just go on to your menu screen and then go into the vs icon here and head into ranked battles now there is a method to do this with casual battles but i've had a lot of issues and game crashes with this method where i haven't had that with ranked battles so i just feel like it's a little bit more reliable but be aware there is another method to doing this through this vs checker or online matches now once you've found an opponent and entered a match you can use doubles or singles it does doesn't really matter just whichever you would prefer you can play this match out if you want or what's quicker is you can just hit the run button and exit the online system and then this will now activate the date glitch skip so it will now be active now once you've got it active all you need to do is hit the home menu button head down to your settings into date and time and change the date forward one day come out of this and then go straight back in you don't need to go back into the game you just need to make sure that the date is changed so you're just cycling in and out of the date and changing that day one day forward so keep doing this until you reach your target date which remember needs to be four days before your shiny den target frame from the seed checker software that we did earlier now once you're at this date which is remember four days before the actual shiny target or shiny frame that you're looking for head back into the game and then save in front of this den now do the four step process once again and once you get to that fourth slot you need to go into the pokemon and actually check if it's shiny and hopefully if you've done everything correctly you will have yourself a shiny pokemon uh, the final step from here if it is shiny it's just to repeat this process over and over until you get the pokemon you're actually looking for it might take a little while but you know you've got your shiny then you can just cycle through until you get the one that you're looking for like i said we are looking for charizard gigantamax charizard and as you can see we've got it right now and once you have it you already know that it's a shiny so you can save in front of the den right now and be safe in knowing that whenever you go back to this den it will be that shiny gigantamax or whatever pokemon that you've been hunting for and with that my friends it does bring us to the end of this guide it is a little trickier and i have to admit it's taken me a, a little while to get my head around this process to begin with but it just make just make sure that you check all your details two or three times before moving on and take your time and you'll be able to do this method for yourself the the most tricky bit i think is making sure that you can get and getting those two iv pokemon once you've got that step done 
it's going to be plain sailing from there. You just need to be taking a little bit of care with the details, calculating your dates, and then skipping the frames and making sure that you get there all right. And then you should be fine from there. And you'll be able to do this method for yourselves and get as many shiny Pokemon from these den as you like. If you've enjoyed this guide, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more guides and Pokemon content and leave your comments down below if you've tried this method and got your own shiny den Pokemon. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you all for the next one.